Hello and welcome to the World Plone Day 2022. My name is Mike Derstappen um, and I want to talk today about uh, Plone 6 Classic UI, especially about uh, the mockup UI library and uh, new resource registry. What's new in mockup? We have uh, modern ES6 uh, modules. That means you can now easily import uh, existing libraries. So you can install them with uh, npm install or yarn add and uh, import them and use them in your code. Layout uh, is now all the new Bootstrap 5, the same as the default uh, clone theme. Uh, Simbasoneta uses. The components in mockup are no longer isolated. That means uh, all the style sheets and CSS are directly affected uh, from your CSS and from your theme, uh, which uh, makes it easier to customize. We have uh, a new TinyMC version. Right now it's the version 5 and uh, TinyMC just released version 6, which uh, will be probably coming soon. We have uh, responsive uh, images in uh, TinyMC. Um, it's still in a working, but uh, we will basically have uh, a small list of uh, image uh, sizes the user can choose, like large, medium, small. And in the background, uh, we auto-generate responsive source set configuration, which uh, will enable the browser to choose the right image at the right time in the right uh, resolution. Uh, this uh, can help to either uh, give better image quality uh, when it's needed, or most of the time uh, um, save a lot of uh, space, uh, download uh, volume uh, by not uh, loading too, too big images. We also have a new improved uh, date picker pattern. We're using pet uh, date time uh, picker from pattern slip. This uh, by default, we are using uh, the native browser implementation, which means uh, we basically uh, delegate it uh, to the browser that uh, the browser will show you the calendar uh, widget uh, for choosing a date, for example, and uh, also uh, some browsers give you a different UI to choose different times, uh, but you can also just type uh, the complete date and time uh, as, you, uh, as you want. If you don't like the different implementations of the browser uh, browsers out there, um, Pet Daytime Picker also uh, provides a fallback implementation, which is a custom UI for picking dates, uh, which is also uh, re really user friendly and uh, looks the same in all the browsers. Uh, you can uh, use that instead, uh, um, but uh, then it will load a bit more dependencies. In Mockup, we also have uh, support for the new icon resolver in Plone Classic, uh, um, which will enable us to use all the SVG icons uh, Bootstrap uh, provides us, or you can even uh, change icons, uh, um, either just changing uh, and using one uh, other icon from the uh, provided Bootstrap uh, icons, or you can provide your own icon library um, and just change the registrations in the clone registry. Patterns are better extendable uh, via add-ons uh, now. Add-ons can provide new UI components um, so that we can extend uh, what's possible in clone. Main bundle will be uh, much lighter. Um, right now it's already uh, 12, more than 12 percent lighter. Um, when you are not locked in, and uh, even more uh, lighter when you're locked in. Um, 
this is uh, due to um, in in general less uh, less code uh, loading so uh, we don't isolate the css in the, uh, in the mockup components anymore uh, which means uh, we rely on the css already uh, provided by the theme and by bootstrap um, and we don't have uh, uh, duplicated uh, css code anymore which uh, yeah uh, brings down the the total um, cost there and uh, even more important we only load what's needed at a time which means uh, when you're going on the on the front page uh, and you're logged in you're not loading the tiny mc or data tables dependencies because you don't need them um you will only need them when you click on edit or you go on a page which uses uh, data tables uh, to show you uh, some table-based data uh, there's more room for improvement we are still not done so uh, the dynamic loading will uh, will be the, the work will continue in the next uh, months and i'm pretty sure we will get uh, down the, the main bundle size even more we have a new resource registry. Um, this is how it looks. Um, the most important uh, thing is it brings uh, us uh, peace. Uh, so no more require JS yelling at you because you uh, put some JavaScript in your in your theme or in your template or you try to register but for whatever reason, uh, it, uh, require JS was not happy with your code. Um, so this is gone. I think uh, this will be, uh, will make many people happy. Um, we use a more robust bundling now, so no shaky bundling of uh, JavaScript or CSS in the, in the browser anymore. Bundles are created, out, uh, created outside of Bloon. Um, so we're using uh, standard tools, uh, um, Webpack, you can also use Rollup or Read or other tools or no bundle at all, um, especially for add-ons. Uh, nobody is forcing you to use bundlers if you have a, a simple uh, JavaScript uh, snippet and a bit of uh, CSS. That's all you need. You can ship it. Uh, you, you don't even have to register it if you just include it in your template if that's what you want. Um, everything will, will work just fine. In mockup itself, we're using Webpack and uh, also in pattern slip, the sister UI library, uh, Webpack is uh, used and recommended there. There are only bundles now in the resource registry to be registered, uh, which means we don't have the resources, the single resources anymore because we are not bundling anything in the browser. So there's no need to register all the single resources. Um, who uh, knew the old resource registry, the options you have here, they are basically the same. Uh, some are gone. Um, the most important are still there. Uh, you can enable or disable. You have, uh, can have conditions when to uh, include this. Um, and uh, you can... Uh, define on which bundle uh, your bundle is uh, depending on, uh, which will make sure that uh, these bundles are loaded before your bundle then. The new reg uh, registry control panel is uh, more robust and uh, should not break uh, yeah, as bad as in Plone 5. Uh, the main reason for that is uh, in Plone 5, the resource registry uh, user interface was uh, heavily relying on JavaScript, on mockup itself. And uh, when something went wrong uh, with the through, the through the web in browser compiling and bundling, uh, the user interface was also gone, uh, which uh, yeah left you without the user interface and uh, not much luck to, to fix it. Uh, this is not, uh, not the case anymore in Plone uh, 6. Yeah, the whole thing is uh, good for developers now, uh, especially for add-on developers, because uh, if you don't want, you don't have to uh, think too much about the resource registry. 
uh, as I said, you can register. You don't even have to register your, your resources if you have them directly in templates somewhere. Um, but the registration is recommended and it's uh, simple. And uh, yeah, you can just ship your resources as you would do in Clone 4, for example, and it will just work. If you want to go a step further, uh, you can have optimized uh, resource loading, which means uh, thanks to Webpack Module Federation, uh, it's possible to use uh, rich dependencies like um, UI libraries, uh, like uh, yeah, any library or resources you want, um, be it CSS uh, related or, or JavaScript related. It's all uh, possible to uh, ship it in a in a JavaScript bundle, which you can load. And uh, as long as it's installable uh, from npm, uh, uh, you can basically use it. And uh, you would declare uh, the library uh, with Webpack Module Federation uh, uh, as a, a shared library. And uh, Plone will make sure that this uh, library is only loaded once, um, no matter how many add-ons uh, are asking for it. It would be nice uh, to get some feedback uh, from you guys. Uh, Clone 6 um, Alpha 4 is already out for a while. Uh, it brings already most of the improvements uh, with it. Um, only uh, things like the um, the responsive image uh, support uh, is still uh, in development, uh, so that will be in one of the next releases, uh, hopefully. Um, but uh, all the uh, resource registry, uh, mockup, uh, cleanup, uh, and uh, bootstrap and toolbar improvements and icons, that's all, da all there. So help us uh, testing uh, Plone uh, 6 Classic UI and, of course, Volto. Um, just try it out and give us feedback as soon as you can so that uh, when Clone 6 Final comes out, uh, we have everything sorted out. Thank you and uh, have a nice World Plone Day and greetings from Romania. Wait, one more thing. We have a new documentation for mockup. This is the auto-generated documentation from all the mockup patterns. Um, you can uh, inspect and uh, test uh, different mockup uh, components here. Um, for example, the data table, data tables uh, pattern, you can play around with it uh, for details. Uh, you can check out the data tables documentation for the, the options you have there. Um, you can have the related items, for example, they are heavily used in clone, so you can um, choose uh, different elements and play around with that. You have different modes, you can check that out. Uh, we also included in the lower part the uh, patterns from pattern slip so that you can see what's uh, uh, what options you have there. Um, you have uh, tiny MCE you can build in your templates. You have the modal pattern which is uh, often used where you can simply uh, enable link to open in a modal just by adding a bit of uh, data attributes. The whole thing is also in different uh, options. You can have even the tiny MC in the modal opening. Um, yeah, you can play around with that. Uh, right now it's uh, not published, but uh, we will publish this soon and uh, also integrate it in the uh, upcoming new Clone 6 uh, documentation. And yeah, we will go from there. Thank you again and uh, have fun. Bye-bye.